Hello everyone, welcome. my name is Kamal Kamal and I will uh, start a new series in my uh, YouTube channel and in this series we will explore uh, the uh, new Skeleton framework so uh, Skeleton I have made a course uh, or mini course uh, basically in my also YouTube channel and uh, in this new course we will make a new project uh, and we uh, will uh, see the uh, the uh, functions uh, that uh, this uh, mini CSS framework uh, which can provide for us and uh, basically uh, this framework is uh, simple as you can uh, see it has a grid it has a form you can style uh, this and it's based on uh, very uh, flexible uh, tools which is a flexbox and also this is made for the mobile first so you can uh, make a responsive uh, website for all uh, uh, for all devices and uh, when you should use this uh, simple uh, framework which is a skeleton so you can use this skeleton framework if, when you are building a small website uh, such as a landing page or you, uh, your portfolio but I uh, in this video I will uh, make uh, my own website which is a portfolio and uh, we will start now by downloading the we will now download the framework and as you can see it's a very uh, tiny framework before uh, we start i must say that this framework uh, is updated in long time and uh, the support in this uh, framework is uh, and the community is not large as many uh, large frameworks such as bootstrap or uh, materialize or uh, foundation from azure so uh, let's start by I will use uh, personally in this course I will use the sublime text and let's start by uh, starting a new uh, so uh, now uh, we have uh, this uh, we have downloaded this file which is a skeleton so we can unzip uh, and extract here and basically uh, let's uh, move it to uh, this and we can now delete all these so we have uh, the images and uh, this is the framework and uh, let's uh, try to make a new uh, so I have uh, made this styles.css and uh, we must say it will be it will be here and uh, in the same size we have reset CSS we have skeleton and we have styles and you have this index.html we can open it here and the uh, typography for this uh, I think that uh, it use the Google uh, font railway uh, railway font from Google and which is here so it's uh, the base typography is railway and I don't basically I don't know why it's loading very very slow like this and uh, basically we have all the thing but I think it's loading the font so uh, this it's loading slow because the fonts so uh, we can open now uh, so if you open the index.html uh, so uh, we have uh, index.html and we have uh, this meta tag uh, we have this linked CSS here is the font and it's loading from CDN content delivery uh, network and uh, we have this normalized so uh, I think we don't want it so uh, basically the grid system is container to center the this content uh, which is was here so it's centered in the page and uh, as you can see one half column it's one half and this is uh, another and uh, we have We have margin top uh, so let's delete this and I think we uh, want a nav so we want dev of container and you want a nav uh, so uh, let's say it be class of container and firstly we have also a dev of class of row let's start by making a uh, logo here maybe nav first and uh, class of 
let's say eight columns and uh, another div class of three columns and this will be l to hami so it will be nine columns and uh, i think we, he we here we want some buttons and we can see we have a link an ordered list we have list items we have this anchor let's try class of button home and uh, me, we can say we have nine so let's say we have maybe four from this and let's now refresh our page and now it's loading uh, so I have uh, removed uh, all the class buttons and uh, we can say that we have this to be header and we have uh, this to be logo class logo we have uh, now start new row and uh, this div class of row and uh, maybe start it to be let's say it will be banner area or be like something like this and uh, be and uh, we will place image here later and let's start a new row uh, so uh, this row will be say it will be the features and row features and i think we want uh, some columns here to be four columns and again we will copy it here and uh, this four columns have h2 let's say we have this feature and we have again this and we have a tag uh, so it can be button button primary and uh, it can be show more to nothing and we can place here uh, some lorem ipsum text uh, so i will search uh, here for we have a text web generator and a random text i usually with this website uh, so we can copy from this block and i will list it here and let's copy this let's see first uh, what we have here Alright, so the uh, page or uh, this section is uh, have has been shown uh, perfectly as we want, and let's copy this area and uh, can paste and can paste it here. We can see here. And I think if we can add some images here, it will be must, uh, much, much better. And we can see here. And I will try to add uh, the font awesome icon, but let's save and refresh. And as you can see, we have uh, the uh, this feature section has been placed 
correctly as we want uh, so uh, I will start to style the website uh, we will now uh, see how we can style this logo uh, so I will say in the header and here we have the header we have the logo and uh, let's say we have in the logo which is here uh, let's say thickest decoration to be none and we have font size to be 30 pixel for example and uh, the header maybe padding top uh, let's say, say it will be 20 pixel and after that uh, we can uh, say in the header we have an order list so uh, in the header we have an ordered list list style type to be none and uh, and uh, in uh, this we can refresh maybe uh, we can say in the header every anchor tag uh, text decoration to be none and uh, we want uh, the header unordered list, list item float to be left uh, we want to color our logo so we can say the color to be uh, it's based on this header uh, so if we say that the background color uh, maybe we will choose uh, some value from its uh, weight Alright, uh, so uh, we have these icons and we have this header. Uh, what we want is uh, we want uh, the font to be much larger and we want we want uh, this to be changed in other color and uh, also we want to place it correctly and uh, we can say it's now light gray color like this e7 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 and e7 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 and the padding top uh, it's uh, 20 pixel so in the header we can say that height will be one pixel and uh, let's wait and we want the color for all anchor tags or the logo maybe let's if we have red let's see uh, so I think that uh, the color uh, or the height is very very large so the 75 pixels in the header and uh, color maybe we want some color like this and I will make the logo this color and uh, let's see and it can be changed to be black 
and uh, let's uh, and the a it can be font size to be to em and the color will be something like this two five two five and in the hover state and in the hover state it will be color maybe white or something like this and uh, border bottom two pixel solid uh, let's say blue and let's see what we have I will adjust the uh, line height or it will be in the same center but firstly let's see what we have and I think we have added padding for the header Alright, uh, so we have now and in the hover state uh, we want uh, the color Uh, so now we have changed uh, and I think it's now much much better uh, so uh, let's uh, make the photo and how we can make it we will start a new section this section will be the banner area and this background to be url and we have to go back and search in the images for uh, let's say background dot jpeg so we have this image i will blur it around to be 25 uh, then in the image size we can say we have uh, it to be like this and I will save uh, to be background let's save and center no relate uh, so uh, the background size must should be covered let's refresh our page uh, so uh, we can now uh, I have changed it to Norbit and I have said that the height is 40 pixel uh, but we can add uh, some info here we can see that we have h3 
right uh, so uh, we can say that we have it to be class of button and button primary and uh, show portfolio and it will be we can say behance.net and uh, after that we can uh, save and refresh and uh, we can say show we want to style it and let's see what we have here all right uh, so we have the text we want to make the text to be maybe white and uh, we want it to it to be centered so uh, we have in the banner text align to be center and you have padding top around 100 pixel and uh, after that we can make the color All right, uh, so uh, we want the color to be something to be identified. So I will uh, type here and if we make it Uh, so I will use the color to be this hex value and uh, for the button which is show more which is dot uh, show b we can say that the border radius around this value and background uh, color to be let's try to yellow for now and let's refresh all right so the color is uh, like we want but the border radius has been changed about the background i think if we make it to be important it will be override let's uh, try so it has been override and let's try uh, some color from here we want a green color something like this so uh, we can start and uh, the paragraph i think if we uh, make the color to be white it will be f fine and padding maybe 140 so it's much much better we can add some shadow for the button let's try box shadow i will leave it for now and uh, I will uh, start to add some padding for the final part. So this is section number three. And we have uh, this final one is called uh, features. So uh, in the features class, we have uh, padding top I think finally the final thing uh, we have say text align to be center and I think now we are done as you can see everything is uh, aligned in the center perfectly 
and you have this uh, we can style it alone by making a header after it at the hover state I hope this work so uh, we can say the color will be uh, red and uh, this will be something uh, changed to be And as you can see, it's now working. The uh, color and the hover state is different than all these, and uh, you can change it as you want. So we have now uh, making our uh, small website, or it can be portfolio. Uh, later, uh, we can add the slider here. It will be fine. And uh, if you can, uh, if you have seen that the image is large, you can see that this image in the banner area it can be. Uh, 13 or uh, this uh, so uh, I hope you uh, you have uh, been uh, find uh, this uh, tutorial was useful see you in the next video in my youtube channel